Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Blockcast. Today we're talking about ways you can use to find great crypto projects out there. Now, uh, there's four things that you need to consider. You want to look at the platform, you want to look at the people, you want to look at the filter, and you also want to look at the season. Now let's go through each one of these. Now, starting with the platform, when I was really new, it was really difficult to figure out exactly where to go and find good projects. I used to look at places like uh, Reddit and Coindesk and all these other places. But eventually I realized that a really good place to find great uh, projects is actually Twitter. Now, the reason that Twitter is great is that you can actually collect, start to collect and curate uh, different people that you want to follow. Uh, whereas uh, places like Reddit is just uh, essentially uh, heaps of different people coming on and posting different projects. And what you get there is, quote unquote, the wisdom of the crowds. But really, when you want to know what good projects are there, you don't want to follow the crowd because the crowd is usually late. What you want to do is you want to find a specific people who are very in tune with the market and who can actually give you good projects to focus on. And the best platform to find these people is Twitter. So we've got the platform out of the way. Now let's focus on the people. How do you find the right people to follow? There's a lot of people out there on Twitter and there's a lot of shills. There's a lot of moon boys out there. There's a lot of people who uh, every week will give you the next token that will moon 100x or 1000x, right? And as a rule of thumb, these are the kind of people you're going to follow. They're usually paid and they also think really short term and they're also not really cognizant of the markets, uh, seasons and everything like that. Who you really want to follow are more serious people who give you more of the fundamentals of a project and they actually tell you why they think this project will work or why they don't think the project will work. And the beauty of listening to people like this is that you actually slowly start to develop an understanding of the space and get a better idea. Now, one person I want to recommend to you today is called Tasha Labs. A very interesting person. She writes a lot uh, and she's on Twitter, uh, she's on YouTube, and she's got her own blog. Uh, uh, see the link down there uh, to find her. So I recommend people like Tasha Labs, and I'd really love to hear the kind of people you follow. Please uh, paste them in the replies there. And on top of that, Tasha has partnered with a group called uh, Work Me Ventures that essentially lets you invest in pre-sales which is a really nice thing that uh, not all of us get a chance to participate in since pre-sales usually have a pretty big buy-in. So we've gone through the platform, we've gone through the people. The next thing you really want to do is actually create a filter because not everything that all of the curated experts post about might be relevant to you. So you really want a way to decide whether this is something that you particularly want to invest in or not. And what you want to do is create your own filtering system. And one that I recommend is uh, you hear about a project. Uh, the one thing you want to see is the utility. I think that's the biggest thing. And that is where people like Tasher, their writings can help you understand. You know, people like Vitalik. Uh, if, if you see this people being excited about the specific utility of a project, that's usually a very good sign. And you can give it a number from one to 10, let's say. And then the next thing you wanna look at is the social interest. So it's one thing to have a really useful uh, thing out there, but it's another thing in that if you're looking at it from an investor's perspective, you really want other people to be excited about it and you wanna make sure you're early as well. So if, if this group has utility and social interest, again, you can just rank that one to 10. And then you can kind of iterate over time and just figure out how to do this. And then uh, the final thing you really want to look at is the clout of the founders. You know, are they known? Uh, who's backing them? Is it people like, uh, say, Coinbase Labs or Delphi Ventures and so on? So uh, in a nutshell, look at the marketing clout, the utility and the social interest of that project. And then the last and final thing you want to look at is whether you're in a bear market or a bull. And this is really critical because a lot of these projects tend to come out during the bull market where everybody is excited and they're experiencing FOMO. And this is not coincidence because these projects come out wanting to raise money. And bull markets are the best time to do that because they know that's when you will part with your money the easiest. But inevitably, a bear hits and all of these projects crash. It's by design, it happens, so really you should take advantage of that in that you follow this system, you look at your Twitter every day or every week or whatever, you make sure you collect any projects that you like 
on an Excel sheet and you rank them uh, based on cloud utility and social interest. And then you just keep looking at them over time, over the weeks. And if the token is released and it's during a bear market, fantastic, go get yourself some and strap in and wait for that bull market to come. However, if you find yourself in the middle of a bull, that's fantastic too, that's great. Just watch the project, don't take part in the ICO or the IEO or whatever, and just sit back and relax, watch that token drop and pick it up next bear. You'll get it at a great price, and next time it'll book, because you get more time to assess it. Now, the one thing I'd like you to take away from this is uh, really look at uh, Tasha's uh, following. This is not a paid promotion or anything like that. I just particularly like uh, her work, and I really encourage you to look at the uh, partnership she has done with Rugby Ventures. There might be some interesting projects out there that are released, or you can take part of them, part, part in, in the pre-sales. And that is all for today. Until next time.